Do you ever wonder what Elon Musk is up to these days? You know, the real-life Tony Stark, the guy who's into electric cars, rockets, and, well, making the impossible happen. Brace yourselves because his latest venture is something out of a sci-fi movie, Neuralink. It's a brain-computer interface that promises to merge man and machine, upgrading our brains to supercomputers. Yes, you read that right, and I promise you this isn't your average brain upgrade. It's more like giving your brain its very own Fitbit. Musk's vision for Neuralink is as grand as his plans for colonizing Mars. He envisions a future where a sewing machine-like robot inserts tiny threads into our brains, allowing us to read and write vast amounts of information. It's like going from an old-school flip phone to the latest iPhone in terms of brain power. But, as with all things Musk, it's no walk in the park. We're not talking about building a new app here. We're talking about tinkering with the most complex organ in the human body. The technology behind Neuralink is as mind-boggling as it is complex. Imagine flexible threads of electrodes, thinner than a human hair, implanted near your neurons. These threads capture information from a large number of cells and send it wirelessly to a computer for analysis. It's like having a Fitbit for your brain, but instead of counting steps, it's counting thoughts. But Neuralink isn't the only player in town. There's a whole gang of companies racing to develop similar technology, creating a kind of space race, but for your brain. Now, I know what you're thinking. What could you possibly do with a brain upgraded to the level of a supercomputer? Well, let's talk applications. On the medical front, it could help humans with mobility issues, hearing, speaking, and seeing. Imagine being able to control a wheelchair with your mind or restore your sight with a brain implant. Neuralink is even planning to work with neurosurgeons at Stanford University for early experiments. But it's not just about medical uses. Imagine being able to download a language into your brain or control your smart home with your thoughts. The possibilities are endless. But is all this really possible? Well, experts have mixed opinions. Some believe that Neuralink's goals are plausible and could revolutionize the way we live. Others are more skeptical, pointing out the challenges in getting information into the brain and improving the quality of life of users. But if anyone can pull it off, it's Musk. After all, he's the guy who made electric cars cool and is planning to send humans to Mars. Before we move on, what are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments. If you're enjoying this video so far, why don't you give that like button a little tickle? It supports the channel. Neuralink has already made significant progress in its research and development. They're not just dreaming about the future, they're actively working to make it happen. In fact, human clinical trials for Neuralink have officially kicked off. That's right, real people have stepped up to become pioneers in this groundbreaking journey. It's not a page from a science fiction novel, it's happening in the real world. These brave volunteers are at the forefront of a medical revolution, one that could potentially transform the lives of those facing severe paralysis. Eligibility for the trial includes individuals who have quadriplegia due to cervical spinal cord injury or amyotrophic lateral sclerosis and are at least 22 years old. They should be at least one year post-injury, without improvement, and have a consistent and reliable caregiver. Individuals with an active implanted device, like a pacemaker or deep brain stimulator, a history of seizures, a requirement for MRIs for an ongoing medical condition, or those receiving transcranial magnetic stimulation treatment are not eligible. The trial has faced some controversy and scrutiny. Neuralink had initially hoped to receive approval to implant its device in 10 patients, but the U.S. Food and Drug Administration raised safety concerns, leading to negotiations for a lower number of patients. The exact number of patients the FDA ultimately approved is not known. There have also been concerns about Neuralink's handling of animal testing, with allegations of rushed and botched surgeries leading to unnecessary animal deaths. But this isn't Elon's first rodeo with controversy. He's faced criticism and setbacks in all his ventures, but it hasn't stopped him from pushing the boundaries of what's possible. So, what does the future hold for Neuralink? Well, if Elon gets his way, we could all be walking around with brain implants in the not-so-distant future. He's so confident in this technology that he's even said he plans to get a Neuralink implant himself. Yes, you heard me right. He's going to be his very own guinea pig. And why not? Elon Musk has always been a pioneer, pushing the limits of what's possible. He's the guy who made electric cars the talk of the town and is determined to make humanity a multi-planetary species. So, strapping on a Neuralink implant is just another day at the office for him. With his track record of success, it's hard to bet against him, whether you're excited, skeptical, or just plain curious. One thing's for sure, 
Elon Musk's Neuralink is a venture worth keeping an eye on. It's a peek into the future, one where our brains are connected to machines, giving us abilities we can only dream of today. So, what's Elon up to now? Well, he's just trying to change the world one brain at a time. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe. It really helps to support the channel. And if you haven't already, check out this video here. See you in the next one.